Hey guys, today is the day for candling uh, our eggs to see if we have any chickens. <clears throat> and while you're doing that, there's three things you want to look for. Is if, it, if the egg is clear, that means the chicken is undeveloped or it died early. And then if there is a ring around the egg, that means um, that there used to be a chicken inside, but then it died. And then if you see blood, uh, blood veins or blood vessels, and then that means that you have a live chicken inside. And right here, as you can see, we have a homemade candler. And if you don't, if you don't have one of these or you can't build one, um, a flashlight could be fine. But um, with the flashlight, um, whenever you're candling the egg, light will leak like light will leak through it so you can't really see that well but with this we have foam here we have foam and what what that does is um whenever we whenever we um are candling um we we put it on the egg and um no light will leak out and so i guess i'm gonna go turn off the light and um i'll see you when i'm done turning it off okay i'm back I have turned off the light as you can see and the homemade incubator light, which is super bright, has now turned on. And I guess we'll just start um, candling some eggs. Okay. Now the way you wanna do this is you want to Put the pointy end down, and then you want to put your candler or flashlight on top of it, and then you look around. So I think this is one of the rings, yeah. This is one of the rings, so that's not a good one. Put that right there. Next, we have this guy. Ooh, small guy. Bubble. I don't see anything though. I think this is one of the clear ones, so I'm just gonna put it there and we'll move on. Grab it, don't want it to fall and crack. Okay, put you. I see a lot of blood veins. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's one of the good ones. So I'm going to put him back into here. And then we'll go into this guy. You want to have the pointy end down. And then you. Ooh. Mm. Don't see that much. Looks pretty clear. So I'm going to put that guy right there. Next egg is this guy. Don't want to drop him. Kind of hard to see these ones because it's all dotty. Um, I don't see too much. Just see a bunch of liquid. So I'm gonna put that right there, and we'll move on. This guy's next. Ooh, you 
you can see the air bubble pretty well. Right there. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of veins in there. See any movement there? Well, comment down below if you see any movement there. And that's a good one. So, I'm going to put him back into here. Oh yeah, you can see those blood veins real good. Yep, there. That's a definitely a good one. Okay. I'm gonna be very gentle when you're holding these. Don't want them to fall and crack. That'd be very bad. That looks like a clear one, definitely. That's definitely clear. Okay, next one. This guy right here. Got a little piece of brown on his neck. Okay, I can't tell if the pointy end's down or not. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. That's one of those saddle air bubbles, where it's not a circle. It looks like a saddle, almost. And I see some blood veins. Oh yeah, there's some movement there. There's some blood veins and movement there. But, um, I think this guy's good. That's a pretty good air bubble, but I'm pretty sure that's a clear one. There's little veins here and there, but yeah, I don't see that much in that one, so put that there and we'll move on. Got it. Don't want to drop this. Oh yeah, there's some good blood veinage. Yeah. Oh wait, there's so there's so as you can see here, you can see the blood veins, but it eventually stops here. It stops there, and then right here, there's the little ring. So that guy's not good. Yeah, this is one of those saddle air bubbles. There's some blood veinage. Don't really know if that's a ring or not. Trying to see if there's any movements. Um, I'm just gonna put this one in here and we'll see what happens. Cause I saw blood veins, but I didn't know if I saw it rain. So. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a good one. See that movement? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. The blood veinage. Put you down there. So far we have six good ones. That's pretty good.
I'm not expecting too much from these last three, but we'll see. So there's some nice blood veinage, as you can see. Trying to see if I see any rings or not. I'm pretty sure this one is good. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah, that guy looks pretty clear. That guy's really clear, so we're gonna put him there. Yeah, there's some good blood veinage there. Yeah, look, that's good. So, we're doing candling. And, um, the way you want to can, well, the days you want to candle, so a, a chicken, a chicken goes through a 21 day hatching process and, um, with that, through day seven to ten, but you can go over that for candling, and that those are the seven to ten are the good days for candling because um, seven and eight you might not see too much, but nine and ten you you're you're most likely gonna see something, and I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but um, there is a five to ten minute with span of when you can keep these out for candling and if you keep those if you keep the live ones out any longer than that um they'll most likely die and we're gonna make another video on when the chickens hatch and um with these you want to make sh if you have any bad eggs which you most likely gonna are gonna the reason we're gonna throw these out is um, that um, if you don't throw them out, um, they will explode and it'll be super stinky. So we're gonna throw them out that so that doesn't happen. Off camera, we candled these one more time and one of them, we saw some movement so we put it back in the incubator. And so five of them, are clear and then two of them have rings and all together that's seven and we're gonna throw these out so um they don't so they don't explode and stink up the whole place because well that's why we're gonna throw them out and um we'll make another video whenever the chickens hatch if any of them hatch and um we'll see you in the next video